Hey, so, impromptu selfie blog. I know how crap the front camera sound is on the iPhone, so I will have to fix this later. Um, if my voice sounds echoey, it's because the room that I am always in, which is here, as you can see, is now empty. So I basically always sit facing the window like this. There's Hopi on the wall behind me there. Uh, but right now, it's all empty. And the, the, the window that I've been facing for all these years is right in front there. I've taken photos of that house in front being covered in snow. Um, so yes, it's kind of remarkable. I've, grew, I've grown up moving house a lot and I don't really think very much of it usually. Um, except I gotta say, this has been a little bit different this time. Uh, I've been here, I've been, I started making YouTube videos before this move. So it's been five, well about six years now that I've been in this house. Before this house, the longest I'd ever lived anywhere was in Remuera in New Zealand when I was at high school. And that was for about four and a half years. Um, often I move house more frequently than that. Before that, other than that, the longest I lived anywhere was I think three years or two and a half years in Waiuru in central New Zealand. Um, but yes, even in Japan, I think I went uh, a few months in Hachioji, half a year in Nakano. I actually ended up going two years in Kashiwa, two years in Komaba, but another two years or so in Nishikasai, maybe more than that. Um, then I actually went to Edo uh, for a few years and, and then here. Um, the thing is in my life, I'll, I've lived, lived here six years now, I've never lived anywhere this long in my whole life. And I, I, although I've always felt liberated, <laughs> Not uh, being attached to places and feeling like you have to go back somewhere or you miss somewhere and always being able to look forward and, and do what's best and logical in a given situation. Um, when you live somewhere for five minutes, well, not only have I lived here for six years now, but in those six years, my son was born, I, you know, I changed jobs. It's really, really major life changes. And you know, the memories when I look into the living room, which is just beside, my wife is always watching TV in there, and as you can see, it's very big. I might tell you the story about that one day. We're moving to a much smaller place. That's another thing. That's a challenge with this move. But you know, that's where my son learned how to walk. Actually, right there. And actually, I got it on video. Um, yeah, when you start to think about it, it's not, when it's about me, I don't care. I don't care. For me, every, you know, I, I'm flexible. But when you start to think it's your kid and growing up, and even the next place, you know, I'm thinking maybe in a few years, maybe... We'll go overseas, get to get posted overseas, which I'd love to do for my son, you know, like what I did. Maybe go to international school. You know, I want to keep all those options open, which is why I'm still renting and why we're going to another rental place. And I'm not planning to be in the next place for five years. Although we'll see, you know, maybe he'll go all the way through uh, primary school there. But um, yeah, I've been here a long time. And what, what I really appreciate, uh, foreigners tend to have this thing that we tend to like to share everything in our lives. Um, you know, we, we go to dinner with work friends, we're, you know, with family barbecues for work and, you know, we talk about kind of mix everything up. If people do YouTube, of course, you talk about that as well. And if you're too embarrassed to talk about that with your co-workers, you don't do it. One thing about Japan, and I've had to learn how to do it, is that Japanese compartmentalize. Uh, and I leave, lead, I guess, kind of, uh, and, you know, my, my wife isn't interested in, oh, <laughs> That was the moving guy. So, you know, I was talking about compartmentalization. I was talking about how um, my wife doesn't want to know about my work. She doesn't want to go to work dinners, doesn't want to know about YouTube or whatever. And a lot of people I know are like that. People at work have hobbies or whatever that, uh, you know, it's always, what I find that makes people is it makes people very focused on what they're doing and it also makes people very interesting when you find out the other things that they do. Um, but you also have some freedom to do those other things because you know to have hobbies and so on because you don't feel this pressure of other people's watching and expectations. Um, I know I don't talk a lot about my work or my family in my videos, and that's deliberate. My YouTube life is my YouTube life, but let me tell you, as I'm sure you know, my YouTube life is, I would say, a very, a very important third of my life where I used to have for my private hobbies and you know. I used to fill it up with lots of things. I used to do surfing, I used to do rugby, 
um, a lot of things that took a lot of time out that become very hard to do with a family when you're working very hard. You know, they, they, they take too much time. So I pretty much focused all of that uh, energy and so on into this. And fact is, is that, you know, while I've been doing these jobs for the last few years, I've been in this fantastic family situation. The memories of this house are as much about the time I've spent with you guys in this room making videos for the last five years as it is seeing my son being born and growing up and, and I'd say my son is still more important but <laughs> but you know for my overall life happiness and fulfillment this has been just as important I love this room this has been I, I like the shape of it I'll have to show you guys a little bit it's um oh the video aspect it's hard to give a full sense it's not square it's got this weird triangle shape and it's funny it's really small it's too small to fit a bed so we thought about making this maybe like a baby room or something like that but we decided to give our son the uh, bigger room down the end of the hall and uh, to let this be my, my study but we're basically where I work and I sometimes have to work at home so this works for that but I love it. it's well lit you know you've got the light there You've got the wall on an angle. It's got absolute, you can actually put pictures up here, which let me put Hopi up. I'm gonna have to figure out a solution for that in the new place. Um, but yeah, this room has been, I, I like the compactness of it. The fact that I can sit close to my shelves, where my turntables and stuff are. Um, and yeah, this room has really served me well and I've served it here with you. I'm going back to a place which will be a lot like the, the, the setup in the new house. I'm, Going to decide how to do it from now but i think it's going to be a lot like the, where i used to make videos back in 2009 uh to after 2012 so yeah 2009 is when i moved so uh yeah i'm always looking to see how i can improve things and make things more interesting but this is certainly end of an era for me and uh thank you room <laughs> thank you house uh, i can honestly say i'm uh, you know maybe this is the most I've ever formed an attachment to a house in my whole life uh, there goes the moving truck outside <laughs> and I'm gonna chase it so uh, I'll tell you the story about how I got to be in this place one day and why I'm moving to a smaller place now uh, but look it's been great to be on the journey in this house you know you guys have been a part of it for me uh, you guys are a part of the memories the fond memories I have of this house and I appreciate you guys for that and uh, I appreciate this house for that, and, you know, but that said, this is all about making new ones. So look forward to seeing more videos as usual and uh, <laughs> more progression as I always strive to do uh, in the new place. And uh, stick around, you know, this is keep keeping it fresh, keeping it funky fresh. That's what life is about, keeping it interesting. Um, this has done really well, but I'm really looking forward to spending time with you guys again going forward. So uh, hang around. Peace.